All right, guys, I'll make this video quick, but I just want to share with you Johnny Moe style, what I believe is the ultimate blower setup. All right, so start with the hand blower. Um, you know, I've had a uh, BG86, BG50, um, had this one. Uh, this is my favorite one so far. Um, cause if you compare all the specs on the Husqvarna website, this one's a 459 CFM. Um, and this one has the anti-vibration. Um, it's not very loud. It's pretty quiet. Um, it's actually pretty comparable to the BG86. It's very similar actually, but I kind of like this one just a little more, you know, it's just a preference thing, but basically this is the best handheld gas blower that you can get on the market if you compare all the specs on the websites i encourage you to go ahead and do that you know when you're shopping for something and look through all the husqvarna ones um echo all their uh, handheld blowers the fan is on this side and so i'm right-handed so i hold it like this and so so that's why the echo ones they just don't work for me um and i know that they have a uh, on the new ones, they have actually added like an extra guard to try to help it from sucking to your pants, but it still sucks to your pants, even with that guard. I don't know why they did it that way, but I guess it's great for left-handed people. But so like the Echo, the Echo handheld blowers are just out for me, just because of that, just because of the fan's on the wrong side. Um, and so you got Husqvarna, you got Steel, and you got Red Max, which is the same thing as this. Um, this is the same exact blower as the Red Max um version of this is, is like the top of the line Husqvarna blower the exact same thing as the red max i had them both side by side i mean everything it's just a difference just red instead of orange so i would recommend either the bg86 or this one i mean i would obviously recommend this one because this is what i actually you know keep now this is what i actually spent my money on so you know and i've had others um but this is my opinion my the favorite one you know you got the the bg55 too and the 56 which can do the shredding um which i don't use any of that capability all my properties are big there's way too many much debris to use that sucker thing um so but the bg50 is lighter than this but it and it's cheaper too it's a great deal i think the bg50 is awesome you get it for only 149 let's say you're starting out or your homeowner or whatever it's great i used it for a few years i loved it um, it was a little hard to start sometimes, and, um, you know, and it doesn't have the anti-vibration, so it's going to have more vibration in your hand. So, oh, and then, uh, as far as the, uh, this is the Generation 2 Milwaukee, um, you know, handheld blower. Absolutely love this thing. Um, it's a 450 CFM, and, uh. You know, if you compare all the all the handheld electric blowers, um, this is really top of the line. Um, because, uh, you know, and some of the other ones are fine. The Eagle one's fine. Um, the DeWalt one's great. Um, a lot of these others are good. But for the power and for what you get and for the price I got this for, I paid $100 for this at Home Depot, just the bare tool. And Milwaukee batteries, you know, you can get them on eBay for a pretty reasonable price. And so, you know, and the fuel line is just, is awesome. So, overall, in my opinion, as far as outdoor power, and many other people would have the same opinions, I think Milwaukee is the best outdoor power equipment. They don't have the big battery that goes on your back. Um, but I don't really want to wear a 20-pound battery. I would rather have, like, you know, they got the new 12-amp-hour big one. I have this one couple of these and i have a nine amp hour one um, but i would rather have a few of those and just swap them out than wear that big old battery even in the future i may go all electric with my string trimmer and this and even at that point i'll just put a inverter in my trailer and put it, the chargers in there swap out the batteries every couple yards no problem i think it is the most ep economical highest quality best um brand of electric you know after doing lots and lots of research um, okay, the backpack blower. So, I've had the Red Max 8500, 7500. Excellent blowers. I think they're awesome. My only complaint with them is you see this spring system. The Echo has a spring system as well. They both have a spring system. Now, the Red Max, all it has is a 
kind of a stiff rubber bushing on the bottom and here. So what that means is, is when it's just on idle and you're walking around picking weeds, it's going to be vibrating. It vibrates on idle really bad. All the Red Max blowers do that. And that is really my biggest complaint with them because it will, could, you know, give you a headache throughout the day. Um, just because I have to do a lot of walk around picking stuff, picking sticks, pulling weeds. And so that's just, you know, that's my really only gripe with the Red Max blowers. They're, they're great quality. They're excellent. I'm not hating on one brand over another. Like I said, Chase Spec over brand. I have all three of the brands here. I have a Steel, I have Echo, I have Husqvarna, you know, and I have that electric. But I mean, and I have, you know, have had, you know, I've had those other blowers. I've had the 700, which is an excellent blower. I've, this is my third BR600. Um, we had, my dad has the 450, so we've had, you know, a lot of the steel blowers. And as you can see in my uh, purchase video of this, which was recently, um, the 800 just does not compare to this. And so that's why I think this is the best choice. This is only at 21.6 pounds. And so that is super light. No full-size blower can compete with that 21.6 pounds of weight. All right. And I think it's at just under 700 CFM, which, you know, is not like the best in the world. But, um, but I think it has 238 miles per hour, which is pretty good. And valve adjustment is the only really complaint with these that people have. And I, I have a video showing you exactly how to adjust your own valves on these. You just do it once a year. It's not a big deal. I'll have the link to that in the description below. The exact link. You know on on my valve adjustment video i bought the tool on ebay for 12 bucks and you just adjust them it's not a problem it's not a it's not a deal breaker as far as the steel line in my opinion just because it's not that hard and and the 800 if you prefer the 800 it has a cut out here you just take one screw out adjust them put it back i mean it's it's man no problem um it is a pain just that you know every year you're going to have one more maintenance item and I, I agree with that but these are fuel efficient it's pretty quiet it's light um so just like when it comes to grass clippings and stuff the 600 in my opinion is is unbeatable just because of that weight and whatever and, and you know me going because all my yards are sloped so using it throughout the whole day you notice those two or three pounds on your back like compared to this this is 24 and a half pounds but this is 1071 cfm 211 miles per hour i believe or 213 something like that um and this thing is just an absolute monster now they gave me a little deal on this so i think out the door i paid 517 out the door on safford equipment to my front door safford equipment if y'all check out my um initial video when i unbox this thing i paid 550 to my door with this and i'll put a link to that video in the description as well so um and so why I chose this is it has the spring system. It's 1,071 CFM. It has carbon fiber right here. So it's 24 and a half pounds, which is, you know, that's a pretty good bit. But it is just the absolute monster for those, uh, you know, 80cc engine when it comes to, you know, uh, mid-October through the end. You know, here in Georgia, the leaves fall all the way up until Christmas. And even after Christmas, there's still a little trickling that fall here and there. You know, so for those couple months, this is the blower you want to use. Um, it is awesome. They have a new design tube. I still have the old design. I will not be replacing it unless there's a problem with it. Unless, unless it's like, uh, unless it kinks or something, which it it has not up to this point because I don't I don't store it with the thing like that. You know, I store it on the wall in my enclosed trailer. So as long as I have no problems with it, I'll just leave the big one. It is a little stiff and it takes a little getting used to. You know, I have that last, that other video with tips and tricks with this blower. Um, but I think it has loosened up a little as I've used it because I have a lot of hours on it now, as you can see. Um, just by the muffler and stuff. I, you might not can tell on camera, but it's got, you know, ran it for a couple months straight there. Like every day, all day. And um, just an awesome blower. And so the 800 really just does not compare to this, in my opinion. And the same thing with the 8550 and the 8500. Now, the 8550 is the same thing. I talked to the Red Max rep at GIE, got it straight from the horse's mouth. Is the same blower, a little bit change in the tube. 
as the 8500, which is a great blower. It lasts many years, high quality engines, all that. But um, any of these will last you a very long time if you take care of them. Um, you know, I run enclosed trailers, so they're never outside. They're just outside right now on my tailgate. <laughs> um, they're outside when I'm using them, and then they go right back in the enclosed trailer. They're never flung around or, you know, all that stuff. I'm pretty good about keeping things nice. Um, and so they're, all these are great pieces of equipment. These, uh, some people complain about these straps, which you, as you can see, like these are much fatter and bigger. Like the straps are better on this Echo and I, they're better on the 800 as well. But it's still so light and it's still such a nice blower that for me, as far as summertime, well, and even not summertime, even now, just when the leaves are kind of slowing down a little bit and I'm starting to do a lot of winter pruning, crepe myrtles and pompous grass and all that, you know, I'm blowing just a little bit of sprinkled leaves across the lawn. I like that. The 600 is the way to go. Um, no point carrying this thing all over if there's just a few leaves sprinkled, you know? Same with if there's just a few grass clumps. Like, I'll probably use this like 70% of the year, I'll use this 600. Now, if you're just going to buy one blower... You could probably get by with this one or this one because this one can still do fine even when there's not much to blow it'll do great when you have leaves guys so you get sorry my camera died but you get the gist of my video and kind of understand where i'm coming from and why i did things be sure to check out johnny moe's channel his link will be down the down below he has a lot of great info on a lot of this equipment um and so you just get the gist of my opinions on why I chose what I chose, and I've had many, many, many blowers, and um, and but that is the best setup I've come to find out is the best setup I've tried after owning probably ten different blowers, and so just my opinion. Um, you know, y'all comment down below and let me know what your blower setup is because I'd like to know that. And uh, I'm just standing here in my truck with my camera plugged into the truck, and hopefully I can get this last little bit of this video done. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching my videos means a lot to say like if you only have one blower maybe consider getting like a mid-range ones of all these like the br700 i know my friend tommy p he watches my videos he got the 700 i think it's a great choice for mid-range just kind of the middle if you're just going to only have one blower to do everything or like the ebz 7500 um or something like that the echo 770 is still 24 point something pounds even though it's kind of a mid-range blower. So, that being said...